Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you're all having amazing creative days. Today we're gonna to be doing a quick Premiere Pro tutorial. I'm gonna show you three keyboard shortcuts which will speed up your editing workflow so much. Trust me, it's sped up my workflow so much and I'm so grateful for this. So I'm gonna teach you guys these three keyboard shortcuts. And of course, if you like this kind of stuff, please subscribe to the channel. If you have any comments, leave them down below. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. I'm always looking to improve my videos. So uh, I'd like to hear from you. So yeah, let me know. And that's that, roll the intro and I'll be right back. Alright, so we're going to be talking about three keyboard shortcuts that are going to speed up your workflow tremendously. The J, the K, and the L. J is rewind, K is stop, L is fast forward. But not only that, if you hold shift and press J, it's a slow motion rewind. And if you hold shift and press L, it's a slow motion fast forward. So if you're looking to find that, that one frame in your timeline to, you know, to crop out or to add the effect to or whatever. It's super handy. Also, if you're scrubbing through your timeline really, timeline really fast, looking for that one animation that you missed or that one clip that you missed, super handy. It'll save you tons of time. So let's get on the computer and check that out right now. All right, so here we are in front of the computer and uh, we're gonna take a look at these shortcuts. Let me demonstrate to you how these work. It's pretty simple. Uh, this video that I'm using today is an old vlog from I think 2017 or 18. Back when this channel was VX2 TV, we went on a photo trip down to the Dominican Republic and we brought some photographers with us. We brought some models. This model here that you're seeing right now is a local to the Dominican Republic, Lily. She's awesome. I'll link her down below if you wanna check out her Instagram. But uh, yeah, hopefully when this pandemic is over, I can get together with more photographers, videographers, maybe even you guys, and we can go somewhere and uh, have some fun, take some photos, create some content. All right, so uh, let's get started. We're gonna start with the L key. Now, if you think about it, this is like the old VHS, VCR days where you have a rewind, a stop, and a fast forward, which is basically what JK and L are. So we're gonna start with fast forward, which is L. So you hit L, everything starts playing forward. You hit L again, it starts going forward faster. L again faster and every time you hit it it just keeps going faster and faster until you hit k which is stop right now j is the rewind so we hit j it'll start going you have to hit it twice after you hit k so you hit j it starts rewinding you hit it again it goes faster and faster and faster and then you hit k and it stops right the other thing you can do is if you're going forward and you want to stop it you can also hit spacebar spacebar works the same as k no problem, so you can hit either or. All right, now let's move on to the shift key. So here's the interesting thing. So if we hold shift and press L, which would be fast forward, so shift L, the video will start progressing forward frame by frame by frame by frame. So if you're looking for that exact moment when the thing happens, when the, I don't know, the, the bottle falls off the table and hits the concrete and smashes that exact moment, this is a really handy shortcut for that kind of thing. If you keep, uh, holding shift and hit L again, it'll start progressing frame by frame a little faster and a little faster and a little faster. So it's a handy tool, especially if you're looking for that precise moment. And again, K stops everything. And if you hold shift and press J, well, you have to hit it twice again. It'll start going backwards frame by frame by frame. Although it seems a little choppy right now. There we go. So frame by frame by frame. And of course you hit J again and it'll start going faster and faster and faster. And it's a handy little shortcut to use for sure. And there we'll pause on, uh, on Lily smiling. She always, uh, she always had a good smile. And she was pretty brave because we were a bunch of photographers from all over North America. We went to the Dominican Republic and the guy who set up the trip contacted her and was like, hey, we got this house. You wanna come and uh, shoot with us? She's like, yeah. <laughs> she came, she didn't know any of us. And uh, yeah, we got some fantastic content with her. So anyway, that is that. Those are three, four, four keys that'll save you a lot of time while you're editing. And I find my favorite way to use the L key is when I'm finished my whole video and I got the whole timeline there, I'll go to the beginning of the timeline and I'll rewatch everything, but I'll hit L so I can watch it at like double the speed and I'm paying attention for where my graphics are supposed to go in, where the names, where the links and all that kind of stuff. When, when anything 
that's supposed to happen isn't happening, then I'm like, okay, space bar or K, stop, let's fix it and then let's move on. So it's a great way to do like a final pass through after you've watched everything and make sure you, you have everything in there. It just, it saves you time because if you're making a 20 minute video or a 40 minute video, watching it over and over and over again gets really time consuming. So those are the shortcuts. Hopefully they helped you. All right, so this is Future Vasco coming to you. I'm uh, I'm jumping into this video and adding a new segment into this. I've already finished editing, but I was watching it over and I realized there's two points I can make here to help out people who are new to Premiere Pro who might be having issues with the JKL uh, tools. And one is that um, if you're hitting JKL and nothing's happening, check your preferences and go to your shortcut keys and you might have, or whoever used the computer before you, or if you're using someone else's computer, they might have changed the shortcuts so the JKL might not work. So that's one problem. If you're hitting the buttons and nothing's happening, it could just be that your shortcuts are set to something else and uh, that's easy to fix. The other thing is if you're fast forwarding and rewinding and your video footage is super choppy, uh, one thing you can do is in your your screen where you're watching your previews, you can set the quality down to like half or eighth quarter, whatever it is, and your, your computer will be able to process the video faster. The other issue is if it's really choppy is if your footage is being, I guess, used or, or being, what's the word I'm looking for? If you're storing your footage on an external hard drive or a slow internal hard drive on your computer, and let's say it's 4K video and you're trying to like scrub through the timeline and it's all choppy, it's because the computer can't get that information and process it for Premiere Pro fast enough. So that's your issue, your hard drive's too slow. If you get like a, a fast solid state hard drive, now that's the one thing I invested in. I got in a, a one terabyte solid state hard drive. So every time I edit, I put all my, footage on that hard drive and it's dedicated just for video editing and then you know it, it can communicate with the computer and everything can process really fast and I can scrub through the timeline pretty quickly so that's what I would suggest to you if, if you have that that at your disposal if you can do something like that get a solid state hard drive they're nice and fast for read write speeds and then uh, Premiere Pro can process that information and you can get a nice clean looking scrub so those are just two tips I wanted to add to the video now back to the outro with the dust. I have to get my ducks cleaned. All right, outro. All right, and that brings us to the end of this video. Look at this little flare I found in this mirror reflection. I think it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so anyway, hopefully the time that you invested in watching this video is minuscule compared to the time that you'll save now that you know these keyboard shortcuts. Hopefully it helps you with your editing. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. If you like this kind of stuff, definitely subscribe. I'm gonna be doing a lot more Premiere Pro tutorials, Photoshop tutorials, Lightroom tutorials. I'm even gonna take you guys on some behind the scenes shoots for photo and for video so you guys can uh, tag along and see what's going on and learn with me as I go and um, yeah that's pretty much it thank you for watching and if you have any comments leave them down below I definitely want to hear from you let me know your thoughts you know are, are you enjoying Premiere Pro or are you a photographer are you a videographer what level are you at what do you want to learn let me know in the comments down below and uh, that's it peace out thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video with the flare <laughs> see ya